Hi, and welcome to the second episode of 5 Tech Tools in 5 Minutes. As always, there is a Digo bookmark link that includes a link to all of the sites that is discussed in this presentation at bit.ly slash 5 and 5 dash 2. First tool we're going to talk about today is Prezi. Prezi is a presentation and storytelling tool that I will say um, I was a little turned off by at first because I thought there was such a big learning curve, but I think it's gotten much better, so I think you'll be impressed. Prezi is, has a very different look and feel than PowerPoint. Um, for starters, it is all hosted online in Prezi's cloud. They do have a downloadable option that you can use on the desktop, but many people just use it online, so you can get to it anywhere that you have internet access. I actually use Prezi to create all of my 5 and 5s. The really cool thing about Prezi, though, is that they have a lot of templates that you can choose from to get started, all of which are customizable, but it definitely allows you to get a great start on a really good-looking presentation. One of my favorite things about Prezi are all the things that you can include uh, in your presentation. Another great part about Prezi is the fact that multiple people can collaborate on one Prezi at the same time. So excellent use for the classroom. Another excellent feature uh, to Prezi in the classroom is their Enjoy EDU license, which comes completely free to students and teachers, which gives you some extra features and also some more storage space to use in the classroom. Photobabble is an awesome, simple tool. Really, all it is are still images that you can record audio to. So awesome for vocabulary, especially foreign language, to have that audio and visual at the same time. Let's take a look at a photo babble in action. And that's really all there is to it. You can absolutely record more than one word. Photo babbles are also very easy to share through social media just by a link and also embedding in a web page. Tuxedos are word clouds with a twist. They allow you to create word clouds in a shape and there's so many different ways that you can use these in your classroom and with students. So much so that I felt it was really important to include a link to this 101 ways to use Tuxedo. And this link is actually included in that bit.ly Digo bookmark group. Here is information about Martin Luther King Jr. and the shape of his face. This is actually just a link that I put into Tuxedo and it populated a word cloud based on everything that was in my blog. And here we are comparing two different documents. So you've got the Declaration of Independence side by side with the Constitution in a word cloud in the shape of the United States. Very cool options that you have with Tuxedo. Dippity allows you to create interactive timelines that you can include links to other websites and articles. You can include video and images. Um, so really, really enhances something that could typically be pretty boring. So here you'll see that there's video links and images. And when you click on any of those, it pulls up this new box that shows you more information, or it will show you the website that you've linked to or allow you to play the video. The last tool we're going to talk about you've probably heard of, but you may not know about Skype in the classroom. So we're going to go ahead and watch a piece of a short video. One classroom. Hola, eh, según los básicos. Mi nombre es María Jesús. Connecting with another, one continent and four time zones away. Most second graders like the San Francisco Giants and they won the World Series. The teachers at Montclair Elementary School in Northern California and Villa Maria Academy in Santiago, Chile are enrolled in the program Skype in the Classroom. It brings other knowledge to the students that I don't have. It borders with three countries. For teachers, getting started is free and easy. So there's just a little idea of what Skype can do in the classroom. Um, for more ideas, Skype actually has an entire section of their website dedicated for resources and education, Skype in the classroom. 
imagine the doors that you can open for your students because now you can bring essentially anyone into your classroom and Skype helps you make those connections right here in the Skype in the classroom area. This concludes our episode of five and five. I know it was pretty fast, but hopefully this gave you a little idea of what each of these sites can do and you'll go check them out on your own.